Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to this YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets. Today we're going to talk about Good Friday when Jesus sees Mary for the last time and is buried. As always, if you need more information in the descriptive box below, there are links to various websites, including one that will take you to Amazon.com if you wish to purchase the Easter book or any of the books in the best-selling series, San Miguel de Allende Secrets. On Good Friday, there are two major Catholic rituals celebrated in two different churches at different hours. One, in the morning, is the encounter Jesus has with his mother that takes place in front of the parochia. Upon seeing his mother, the ancient statue of Jesus actually bows his head in sorrow. Other statues featured in the procession are Jesus' friends, St. John the Apostle, St. Mary Magdalene, and St. Veronica with her veil, displaying Jesus' face. Jesus' aunt, Mary Oclopis, is also seen. In addition, there is Gespus and the young St. Demas, the bad and good thieves who die alongside Jesus. Numerous nameless angels represent comfort sent from heaven to aid Mary in her sadness. St. Roach's statue leads the procession, followed by angels and twelve barefooted men wearing rough woven garments with crowns of thorns on their heads. Next, twelve men carry skulls representing the path from death to eternal life. All are guarded by Roman soldiers. Twelve men carry the statue of Ecce Homo, with the parish priest carrying an ancient cross used since the 1700s by St. Philip Neri de Afaro. The second procession began around 1712 and is the holy burial procession starting and ending at the oratorio of St. Philip Neri Church late in the afternoon. It begins with a group of women all dressed in black and wearing high heels that carry flowers and statues of saints. Then young girls in white with feathered angel wings join the parade carrying images of the crucifixion like nails, crowns of thorns, the ladder, the cock, the sponge with vinegar, and the dice used by Romans to gamble for Christ's clothes. Also, the pitcher and bowl with which Pontius Pilate washed his hands of the proceedings is included. Next are the elegant and colorful statues of the saints present when Jesus died, and a glass coffin Jesus with indigenous features, which emerged from the church only on this one day each year. The life-size figures are carried on platforms and normally head towards the parochia. Sometimes, the procession stays in Plaza Civica. The very last statues to emerge are Nicodemus and Joseph Arimathea, who carries a document where Pontius Pilate authorizes him to take Christ down from the cross and bury him. They are surrounded by Roman soldiers to ensure Jesus' body does not get stolen as Pontius Pilate has ordered. Symbolically, the procession returns at sunset when there is only mourning and sadness. Youth choirs sing songs of pain as the voices of the innocents written exclusively for this event.